Hey, welcome back. When I started out with 3D modeling, I didn't really know what software to begin with. Wow, that was like five years ago. Anyways, because of that, I chose a software that wasn't very beginner friendly, which put me in way over my head. That's why I'm making this video today. Let's take a look at four great design softwares for beginners. First up, we have SketchUp. It's definitely the oldest program on this list, but it is by no means outdated. It's super easy to learn, and its modeling style is intuitive, using a variety of drawing tools and other features for 2D shapes, and then functions like extruding and moving to build up 3D shapes. There's also the 3D Warehouse, which has tons of pre-made SketchUp models, and the Extension Warehouse, where you can find useful add-ons for SketchUp. But be warned though, if you're using SketchUp to design for 3D printing, it can be a bit fidgety at times. Next, we have Tinkercad. This program is about as simple as it can get for a 3D design program, yet I've still seen people make some pretty impressive stuff with it. The program basically consists of dragging and dropping shapes, scaling, and basic Boolean operations. It can be learned in a matter of minutes, and best of all, it's browser-based. There are other features too, like an STL importer, integration with Shapeways, and Tinkercad's online gallery, all of which make it a great software for beginners. Most of Autodesk's softwares are not the most beginner-friendly. This isn't as true for 123D design, though. This is a great program if you ever want to move up to bigger and better programs, because it uses the same engine as Autodesk Inventor, Fusion, and Fusion 360. This means you have all the great features like sketches and fillets in a slimmed down, easy to use package. Finally, we have Sculptress. This one's pretty different from the others on this list, and that's because it's a 3D sculpting software. Think of this program like a virtual ball of clay that you can sculpt how you like. It has a simple interface with sliders for different effects, like inflating and pinching, etc. Sculptress is a great jumping off point if you want to get into 3D art. Plus, it's made by the same people who make ZBrush, so you know it's good. Unfortunately, no amount of simplicity can make up for my lack of artistic skill when it comes to 3D sculpting. Anyways, if you liked this video, you know what to do. If you want to follow my work in the future, please subscribe. Also, there's one last thing I want to mention before I go, and that's that I will be going to World Maker Fair 2015 in New York City. I'll be making a ton of videos for the event, and I'm getting really excited for it. If you see me there, please say hi. XYZ and out.